Oh, shalom, Rastafari. You know, one of the things I like to do, and some of y'all might also do this, is kind of go and just word search and see what picks or what links come up. So that's what I and I was doing, actually. This is actually a part of um, the Tafari Amharic, right? And it is the man-child, right? That's the prophetic man-child. But then I was um, coming across a couple of uh, interesting uh, picks here. And then I found this one here. Let's see if we can bring this up. Found this interesting pick up here. Um, with the cursor. Okay. And then I clicked on it. I said, wow, look at that. These three youths, right? These three youths under a wall painting of His Majesty. And it's Ethiopian News Opinion Journal, right? And then I saw this picture I said what a wonderful picture I also saw a book um uh the three children's gospel by uh ross lich tafari looks very interesting and the, and that was kind of linked in my mind when i saw these three youths and the eye trade of his majesty then i saw this over here so i clicked it right his majesty extending kingly courtesy to the english queen right Nothing wrong with that, and that was linked at rosters, www, Israelite Unite, or Israel Unite, dot org. I said, hmm, that's interesting. Then I saw some words down here. I said, let me read it. It says, Hala Selassie bows to Queen Elizabeth to beg for help against Italy. I said, what kind of fools are these? This was long after the war was already over, and in fact, um, Elizabeth, uh, Queen Elizabeth, was not even queen until 1950-something. The Italian invasion of Ethiopia actually ended in 1941. That's when the, the Western nations, America and England and, you know, those guys were just getting into the war, Right? See, they don't even recognize, so these so-called Israelites, and I've seen this page before, but when I saw the pic, you know, I said, let me click on it, and I immediately knew that the liars would lie. And this is what's wrong with so-called even Israelites, right? Many of these so-called Israelites. Let's click on this link right here, right? And where's the page? Okay, here's the page. You might have seen them, so they have the menorah there like the other Jews, right? So Israel unite in Christ, right? Some um, Negroes and others. So this is like a hit job, or it tries to be a hit job on Rastafari, right? On the Rastafari movement. And what does the Bible say? My people perish because of a lack of knowledge. And this is a classic um, perishing because of a lack of knowledge. So many things they basically get wrong but one thing they do they follow the other Jews right with this menorah as being the symbol and then they twist and slander and lie right against his majesty against the Rastafari movement and true many Rastas are out there putting out some teaching that is really um, not right and exact and of course that happens you know the zeal you know, you know, ones have that zeal, but we have to study and show ourselves approved because some very simple points can be basically um, answered, right? And one of them is regarding this particular pick right here where they allege that His Majesty bowed, right, to the English Queen in order to beg for help. So you can recognize they have an agenda, right? They have an agenda, but... The fact is that um, Queen Elizabeth was not even queen, right, during the fascist Italian Mussolini's invasion of Ethiopia. So we can clearly tell that they're not really looking at the truth. You know, you could just look this up for yourself. Fascist invasion, 36 to 41. The English queen was coronated in 1950-something. There's even this additional lie that it was the English queen who actually coronated Hala Selassie. 
I said, are these COINTELPRO children, Negroes? I mean, I mean, where are they getting their intel from? But remember, COINTELPRO is about counterintelligence, right? These are some counterintelligence Israelites right here. And you really need to beware, right, beware of this sort of um, um, disinformation. This is a disinformation hit job against Rastafari, right, presented by the so-called Israel United in Christ. But they reject Christ and his kingly character, right? And very simply, we've already pointed out that, you know, when they say that his majesty bowed, right, to the English queen to, to beg for help, I mean, anyone who knows even a little bit of history, so if they don't even know recent history, how can you really trust them when we talk about the past history, the Bible history, or even to try to COINTELPRO Ethiopia, our divine heritage, brothers and sisters? This is Wendem Yarden reporting.